It was an unexpected violent attack. He grabbed my throat and smashed my head into the concrete over and over and over. I went through the windscreen and over the top of the car. I fell backwards and hit my head on a metal pole. These are some of the ways Australian women have explained how they sustained a traumatic brain injury. Their lives before and after were like chalk and cheese. This was not part of their life plan. And in the blink of an eye, these women's lives were changed. Traumatic brain injury is a result of an external force to the brain, such as from an assault, a motor vehicle accident, or fall, as women have described. My mixed methods research using an online survey and qualitative interviews has explored Australian women's experience of traumatic brain injury, bringing to light the stories of women who survive catastrophic injury. Injury to the brain challenges us as people quickly default to an assumption that a person is less capable. This is reinforced by our media just reporting death rates rather than the complexity of survival. One quarter of people in Australia who sustain a traumatic brain injury that we know of are women. And it's evident from my PhD research that they come from a variety of backgrounds, showing us that injury does not discriminate. Visual disturbance, nausea, headaches, fatigue, agitation, limb spasticity, seizures, anxiety, depression, and memory impairment are just some of what Australian women live with following traumatic brain injury, with many of these impairments not visible. Because of these often hidden impairments, women reported many losses, such as income and potential earnings. They have reduced self-esteem and lower satisfaction with life. These women do not bounce back after their injury. They have a rough and disorderly struggle cobbling together an income and juggling gendered roles like parenting children, caring for grandchildren and supporting ageing parents. Yet these women are tenacious and have a gritty determination to strive toward achievements others thought they weren't capable of. They paint, compete in sports, work, go fishing and volunteer in their local communities. This research informs health professionals and programs like the National Disability Insurance Scheme and the need to move beyond gender neutral service provision and consider women individually. Thank you.